beautiful Monday morning. 11 practices in. Um, the guys are engaged. We had a great weekend. Uh, a very, very productive scrimmage on Saturday. Um, I'm going to guess probably in the 145, maybe 151 total reps um, that we got with special teams included. And, and uh, a lot of great productive work, like I said, it, from special teams to offense to defense. Um, you know, finished up uh, exactly like we'd like to feel good where we are after those 11. Um, you know, I think it's important for everybody to get into Heinz Field. You get to see who kind of, you know, can play in that place, in, in that environment. Um, again, from, from a you know, corner to a quarterback to a D tackle to a kicker. And we finished up at the end uh, in a two minute situation um, where Kesma kicks a 52 yarder. Um, with uh, with the noise going crazy, um, it was pretty intense two minute, and then uh, we got pulled to offense and the defense. Everybody just behind him, kind of huddled up. Guys are throwing hats at him and, and uh, just trying to get on him. And bang, he put that thing right through the middle. So it was good, but it was more than good. It was through the middle and probably would have been. It didn't crawl over the bar. It was good from 62, 70. I don't know what the heck. It was it was good. Put it that way. It wasn't just oh wow. He just made it, but it was it was really good. So that's all I got. Who Questions? Else, who else impressed you on Saturday? Oh boy, you know there's a lot. You know who impressed me? I guess it's you know who shocked you more than anything. It's like um, you know I, I you know I could go through a lot of names and, and I'd forget somebody. Um, you know both quarterbacks impressed me, um, but like I said, I'll miss somebody. So who shot? Who who kind of showed up and you weren't sure um, what was going on? Um, you know, again, Damari Mathis continues to impress at the corner spot, um, you know, as well as Maddox. But, you know, the shocking is, is him. Uh, Patrick Jones, the defensive end with Rashad Weaver, both have been impressive. Um, inside, Shane Roy has been good. You know, linebacker, you know, Elijah Zeiss, I probably haven't talked about him enough. He's been really good. And again, didn't shock me, but very, very solid. Uh, Bryce Hargrove on the offensive line has done a nice job that you kind of go, wow, he's ready to go. Uh, he's getting there. You know, Flanagan, Clark, both did a really, really nice job. And those two freshman tailbacks, um, A.J. Davis and Todd Sibley, got a lot of reps and, uh, and showed that they can make some plays with the ball in their hand. They just need more, and we got to make sure they're doing the right thing all the time. At what point are you going to tell the team who the starting quarterback is? Um, when it's evident to everybody. How much do you think you'll end up counting on uh, some of those freshmen on defense, whether it's redshirt freshman or a guy like you just mentioned in math as a true freshman? What was the first part of the question? How much do you think you'll end up counting on freshmen? On we'll defense? find out. I mean, we're 11 days in with, you know, another 11 to go, 12 to go here until, you know, game week. So we'll find out. But, you know, I'm not afraid to put them out there. I mean, that's why we're getting this practice against, you know, everybody to find out, do you feel comfortable? And if, you know, we feel comfortable out here, you know, we're going to feel comfortable in the game. If we have questions like, oh, I don't know, then probably not going to, Put him out there. How have Jordan Whitehead and Kenny Regunas responded to you know, having reduced role this training? You know, uh, they really haven't had you know as reduced a role. They're getting a lot of reps in, and they're getting the, they're getting work in, and they've re, you know reacted like we would. They're great kids, and and uh, they're reacting like you'd like them to. I think last week you talked about the field safety spot a little bit. What about the boundary safety, Briggs and, and Campbell? What have you seen out of those guys? Briggs, Campbell, and probably another guy, I don't want to say shocked me, but, you know, through last week, you know, Henry Henry Miller has been like the lights turned on, and they're bright, fluorescent, and there's a lot of them. Um, so Henry's gotten his self in the mix as well, but Briggs has done a great job. Uh, you know, so is Phil, and and uh, and so is Henry. I mean, it's, you know, like there's they're, they're all – like I said, the lights came on for Henry. Phil's been doing a good job. The lights were on when camp started. Henry, the lights have turned on, and he's a you know big athletic guy. That's a position where you kind of need experience to be able to make those communication calls. Does that maybe give Briggs a little bit of an edge since he's been around the defense for a couple of years? And yeah, I mean Briggs got the edge obviously because of experience, and experience is, is critical uh, to development and in, uh, in the mainstay of the defense. So yeah.